Guys, time for more Subaru. The engine, as you can see, is waiting for its home to go home. It really wants to, but there's more work to be done. And this is where, well, I already did degrease the cross member nice and clean, but we have some issues. This is always the same area that this cross member rusts but in this case we have an issue right over here as you can see so i did, actually did buy new radiator supports these are i think like seven bucks a piece or five bucks whatever it was i can't re remember We're reusing the the cushions bushings whatever some of these especially these you can see this this coloring over here i had to heat some of these up not these these came out nicely it was uh these that i had to i had trouble with i think one of them actually broke on me and i had to drill it out anyway so as you can see this is okay but not this this is barely hanging on this i'm sure i mean there's a hole here this i'm sure if i hit it any harder i will make a bigger hole but we're just going to ignore this the plan here is to clean this rust off when i say off what i mean is and this also what i mean is just get rid of the uh the flaky stuff you know this is what i'm going to be using a power drill these brushes here and basically just they're gonna go quickly right across it uh, get rid of the rust that's ready to fall off basically and i don't want to clean off the rust fully well i'm not going to with this i uh, would you would first work this do the best you can with this kind of tool or even a grinder or excuse me do something like this to make your work quicker but more dangerous use something like this and put that thing on the grinder that will make quick work of rust but it will still not fully get rid of rust you would still need um you know some kind of a sandpaper or maybe a you know grinding disc one of these guys 60 grid whatever but we're not going there what we want is some rust left over i'm going to be using this this is good stuff i actually used it on an old mustang which i still have i did make a video on it for the mustang 2 enthusiasts so although this bottle looks old this is new stuff yeah still sealed up maybe it was yeah it was actually leaking let's see what color it's got it's supposed to be white this is not white all right it is white now okay so as you can see whitish let's call it let's call this a whitish color okay and this goes on like kind of like milk like thickish milk we're gonna brush it on remembering not to take rust off fully just so it's not flaking anymore and that will actually turn this rust into black primer and on that mustang that i've done it i think two three years ago i did the whole undercarriage inside floors suspension parts rear diff everything all and then i painted with i think it's rust-oleum oil-based black paint basically and actually let me show you something check this out so i've had this thing outside these these two pieces of metal right in this spot for i think two or three years now just sitting outside in the sun covered with snow rained on and all that and this piece is part of the floor of the mustang and this was painted with only the coral seal stuff this side you can see it was rusted well i mean it is rusting already 
but this was only painted with the coral seal stuff. And the instructions say on the coral seal that you only leave it up to one month without, because you, you're supposed to paint it. So it's like primer. Primer is porous, you want to, you know, paint primer. So this was not painted, but treated with coral seal. And you can see it's still, some of it is still left on this piece after three years sitting outside. And this piece has been painted with that same, it's just dirty, obviously it's been sitting outside here. I mean, I never, rarely touch it, almost never. This is maybe the second time I'm, you know, showing it to somebody. This, my kids actually scraped it on concrete or dropped it, whatever, uh, once or twice. So you can see paint came off and it's it's been rusting here. But anyways, this is just dirty. Look, this is in perfect condition sitting outside. And it was first, it was rusty, all of it. You can see it's pitted, you know, from the rust. So coral seal, I, I'm sure it was at least two, three, four coats, maybe even, until it gets black. And then that oil-based Rust-Oleum paint, black paint. Good stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I gotta change. And I'm gonna show you the after rust cleaning. I'm gonna apply one coat. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after each coat. it's been 15 minutes first coat so this is how this looks now it's gonna take at least an hour to dry up and I forgot this damn I'll do that tomorrow time to sleep see you tomorrow guys next day so about 18 hours of drying time. Hopefully you can see what I see. Let me get some light. Now, mostly, well, almost all of it is black. How it should be. Excuse the camera shadow. But in some areas, like over here, it is brown. Brown is bad 
black is good so what it means the brown stuff what it means is that it was contaminated with uh, whatever dirt grease oil and you know <laughs> I mean I've sprayed two full cans of brake cleaner brushed it several times didn't wipe it because the surface is just it's rough you know they don't want to leave any paper or, or fabric on the surface so I gotta clean that up tiny bit clean it and paint it again guys second coat looking much better I did clean off those brown spots <laughs> brown spots like there was one here just a little bit here and there but we're not restoring this thing but look at this so that oil or whatever was embedded so I gotta clean this off and paint again I'm, I'm most likely gonna do another third coat just for good measure it has been about 14 hours or so it takes a lot of drying a lot of time and you want to go thick guys update this is a final third and final coat so that's what it's supposed to look like uh, I just sprayed it with some black primer too again you know just to be sure but you probably since this is supposed to be black primer or it turned into it then you can maybe go ahead and just spray paint but I'm gonna go I'm gonna spray primer on it anyways and then paint or maybe spray some undercoating I'm trying to use whatever I got I don't feel like going to the store and spending money you know update finished product check this out nice huh now obviously that's not gonna make it stop uh, rusting you know there's still rust on the inside where I can't really get to but this the the whole point of this is to you know make it last a little longer okay that's it then didn't, didn't really put much work into it it was just kind of time consuming because I had to wait five six times for the paint to dry but you know that's pretty much it cleaning took a little bit hopefully this will not hopefully Luke won't drive this and break the bumper like here bumper on this broken. no it wasn't bumper's already broken anyways on this one no. well I meant you know a little farther than the bumper anyways we're doing this two two things at the same time you know the engine bay on this one and the bumper on that one so if you haven't seen this car we're doing bumper fix with fiberglass all right next up on this one engine should be should be in thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe like the video dislike comment just, just do something